Inside the B-2, the most mysterious aircraft ever built. In the silence of a moonless night, a shape glides across the sky. No roar, no warning, no trace. It slips through some of the world's most advanced defenses like a rumor carried by the wind. And by the time anyone realizes it was ever there, it's already thousands of miles away. This isn't science fiction. This is the B-2 spirit, a $2 billion ghost capable of delivering destruction with the precision of a surgeon and the stealth of a shadow. A machine so advanced that even decades after its first flight, nations still struggle to understand how it works. Today, we're going deep into the aircraft that redefined modern warfare. The bomber designed to be invisible, untouchable, and unstoppable. The plane that should not exist. Before the B-2 spirit ever took to the sky, the world of aerial warfare was changing fast. Radar systems were improving, defenses were tightening, bombers that once ruled the skies were suddenly vulnerable, and the United States needed something new something the world had never seen before. The idea was simple, build a bomber that the enemy could not detect. The execution? Nearly impossible. Because how do you take an aircraft the size of a football field and make it vanish? To understand how the B-2 became the ultimate stealth machine, we must go back to the start, to Cold War tensions, forgotten blueprints, destroyed prototypes, and a single stubborn idea that refused to die. When bombers became targets. The year, 1975. The Cold War was colder than ever. The United States relied heavily on its B-52 Stratofortress bombers, massive aircraft loaded with nuclear weapons, always ready, always circling, always on alert. Routes stretched across the Arctic, Alaska, Greenland, and the Mediterranean. But a terrifying reality was emerging. The Soviet Union was rapidly advancing its air defense systems. Suddenly, these enormous bombers weren't invincible symbols of power. They were giant, slow-moving targets. One U.S. Air Force general famously said, sending a B-52 into Soviet airspace would be like throwing a rock at a hornet's nest while wearing a bright red target on your chest. A new strategy was needed, not more firepower, but invisibility. And this is where the story shifts. The ATB program, build an invisible giant. To break the deadlock, the US launched the Advanced Technology Bomber Program, the ATB. The mission was bold, create a bomber that could glide into enemy territory unnoticed, eliminate its target, and escape before the enemy realized anything had happened. Engineers called it trying to build an invisible elephant. It needed to be huge. It needed to travel across continents. It needed to carry nuclear weapons, and it needed to be untraceable by radar. Nothing like it had ever been built. But the blueprint for this impossible aircraft already existed, abandoned and forgotten. A design decades ahead of its time. The story jumps back to 1946. World War II had just ended, but one man, Jack Northrop, was thinking beyond the war, beyond the era, beyond anything the world had ever flown. His vision, the flying wing. An aircraft with no fuselage, no tail, no traditional body. Just a massive wing gliding through the air. The concept was revolutionary, aerodynamic, efficient, elegant, and in 1947, Northrop proved it could work with the YB-49, a majestic flying wing prototype that looked like it came from the future. But it had one fatal flaw, it was nearly impossible to control. Without computers, which didn't exist in the modern sense, the aircraft was unstable and unpredictable. The Air Force, unimpressed and unconvinced, ordered every prototype destroyed. Northrop's dream was shattered, his designs were burned. The project was buried, but the idea? The idea waited, the revival of a ghost. Fast forward to 1978, the United States needed stealth more than ever. They needed an aircraft that could outsmart every radar system built on Earth. When the ATB competition began, something unexpected happened. Northrop Corporation won the contract. The flying wing was back. But this time, engineers had tools Jack Northrop never had. Powerful computers, advanced materials, and a government willing to spend billions to make invisibility real. The B-2 spirit was about to be born. The shape that tricks radar. The B-2 doesn't just look futuristic. It is the future. Jack Northrop saw decades earlier resurrected, enhanced, perfected. Its flying wing shape creates two critical advantages. One, a radar cross-section so tiny, it's often compared to a pigeon. Two, aerodynamics so efficient, the aircraft can cross oceans without stopping. There's no tail to reflect radar. No vertical surfaces for detection systems to bounce off. The entire aircraft is one smooth, continuous curve, designed not just for flight, but for disappearing. Every edge, angle, and panel is calculated to scatter radar waves away from the source. Nothing is accidental. Nothing is decorative. The B-2's shape is the weapon. The invisibility cloak. The B-2's skin is one of the most classified surfaces ever created. It's coated in specialized radar-absorbent materials, not paint, not metal 
a secret blend capable of swallowing radar energy. Instead of bouncing back to detection systems, waves vanish into the coating, disappearing like light into a black hole. Panels are large and seamless, edges are smoothed or hidden. Even the way screws and fasteners are placed is designed to avoid reflections. The entire aircraft is essentially wrapped in a technological cloak. This level of stealth is so advanced that even decades later, only a handful of people truly understand its full capabilities. Engineering a wing without a tail. But stealth wasn't the only challenge. Flying wings are notoriously unstable. They pitch, they roll, they drift in unpredictable ways. The solution? A fly-by-wire computer system so advanced it constantly makes micro-adjustments the pilot never feels. The aircraft is essentially always correcting itself. Every movement of air, every shift in balance, every gust, the system compensates instantly. Without this, the B-2 would be nearly impossible to fly. With it, the aircraft becomes a floating shadow, smooth, stable, and entirely predictable. Four engines you'll never see. The B-2 uses four GE F-118 engines, but you'll almost never see them. They're buried deep inside the wing, hidden from radar, hidden from heat sensors, hidden from sight. Air intakes are on top of the aircraft, shielding them from ground-based systems. Exhaust is cooled and spread out to reduce infrared detection. Every element is designed to make the aircraft harder to spot, harder to track, harder to target. The B-2 doesn't fly through the sky, it blends into it. Building a $2 billion machine. A stealth aircraft cannot afford imperfections. Even a tiny misalignment could reflect radar waves and compromise missions. So the B-2's airframe, made of carbon graphite composites, is assembled with microscopic precision. This isn't factory work. This is craftsmanship at the atomic level. When it was revealed to the public in 1988, jaws dropped. People weren't looking at a new bomber. They were looking at something that shouldn't exist. 130 onboard computers. A structure with no vertical surfaces. An aircraft capable of crossing continents unseen. The world had just entered a new era of stealth. The power to reach any target on Earth. Beyond stealth, the B-2 is a powerhouse. Payload 20 tons conventional bombs, precision-guided weapons, nuclear payloads, even massive bunker-buster bombs that can destroy underground facilities. With refueling, the B-2 can reach any point on Earth. It can take off from the United States, strike a target on the other side of the world, and return home without landing anywhere else. Its crew? Just two people. A pilot and a mission commander. Its altitude? Up to 50,000 feet. Its speed? Not supersonic, but fast enough, high enough, and silent enough to slip through any defense system designed to stop it. And if GPS ever failed, the B-2 could navigate by the stars. The cost of invisibility. Each B-2, $2 billion. Maintenance? Expensive. Upgrades? Constant. Materials? Classified. Fleet size tiny, only 21 ever built. Its radar-absorbing skin must be reapplied regularly. Its systems require specialists. Its logistics resemble a sci-fi operation. But the question remains, is it worth the cost? For the United States, the answer has always been yes. Because the B-2 doesn't just strike targets. It sends a message. We can reach you. You cannot reach us. The future. Enter the B-21 Raider. Time doesn't spare even the most advanced aircraft. The B-2 is aging, and its successor is already waiting in the wings. The B-21 Raider. Smaller, cheaper, easier to maintain, and designed to operate as part of a global digital network. Where the B-2 was revolutionary, the B-21 will be evolutionary, an entire new generation of stealth. But the B-2 remains the icon, the legend. The aircraft that proved invisibility was not science fiction, it was engineering. The B-2 spirit is more than a bomber, it's a quiet declaration of human ambition. A machine born from secrecy, refined through decades, and engineered to defy physics itself. It moves like a shadow, disappears like a whisper, and reminds the world that the sky still holds mysteries we're not meant to fully understand. If this story fascinated you, like, comment, and subscribe for more deep-dive aviation documentaries.